Dirty Rip X from the World of Rip X. With me, as always, is John, and we are here at Dairy Queen, and today we are trying this. Is that Journey? Yeah, man. That's Journey. Awesome. Journey's awesome. So this is the, was it the KC Vaping, what, what's it called? I don't know, it's the KC Barbecue Burger or something like that. KC Bacon Barbecue Burger. Yes. You know you kind of look like Jim Lee, man, the guy that draws like X-Men and stuff. From Image I'll Comics. Take the royalties. Okay, that's cool. Anyway, so this is it. This is the KC barbecue bacon cheeseburger combo with fries and a drink. And a Sunday we don't have yet, and it is only five bucks. Now you seen us do the five buck deal here before? We're not punks like other people. Yeah, but we had to wait for the we had to wait for the Sundays till the end so yeah. they don't melt. Yeah, we don't want to melt, but. Unlike usual, we actually both got the same thing today. So John got it too. So you can get two well, views. I love, I love anything at barbecue. You like right? So he is. Barbecue is good. Barbecue is good. So let, let's open this up and let's, let's see what our burgers look like. I see it looks like Swiss cheese. Oh crap! I can't even keep it's mine like open. Swiss cheese. The, the, bur the burger could be bigger. Is that? Well, it's just a cheeseburger. So I mean. You see pickles. Pickles. And I'll tell you what, from it's from bacon too. from going as a student to McRib University, I can tell you that barbecue sauce plus pickles plus onions are just awesome. Anyway, oh, it's bacon. Is that bacon? It's real bacon. It's bacon. It looks like Swiss cheese, barbecue it's sauce. Fake, it's not fake bacon. And the uh, the front. Wow, man, you ought to just see these fries. Just look so good with this phone. This phone is just awesome. I noticed something weird on the. The, the fries have a weird taste to them. I mean, what, it's almost what like, do they they, taste like like they were fried and bacon grease. Mm. To me, I don't know. I don't know. Is it a bad fried and bacon grease? Uh, or anything bacon-wise. Hmm. Hmm. They're pretty tasty. And you guys know, wow. You know what? I don't even have to put any salt on these. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably because if it's fried and bacon grease, it's just delicious. How are your fries look? Your fries look good. That's what I like. I just, want, I just want to get them HD for the kids. No. Hey, open yours up real quick so we can look at yours again. I just want to see the, the quality control. Okay. Looks about as, about as good as mine. It's okay. symmetrical. Symmetrical. Okay, so we know the fries are good, but we're going to get in this but burger. The biggest thing is, like, how does it taste? How does it taste? So let's, let's find out. Mmm. The infamous cross section. You see the burgers, you see the onions. Now, the first thing I tasted when I bit in this burger was the barbecue sauce. The barbecue sauce is definitely out in front. And the onions, I would say, was the second place after that. What do you say? I say, yeah, the sauce is what makes it. Mm -hmm. Pretty damn good sauce. It, it really probably, is. It, it, you could probably eat, like, you know, a rubber burger and still have, make it taste tasty with that sauce. Okay, so based on that, the burger itself. The so burger you, itself is nothing special. If you took the stuff off the burger and just put ketchup and mustard on it, what, what do you think? It's like, nah. I have to have the barbecue sauce. Are you already talking with the barbecue sauce? No. I mean, if you took everything off it and had a plain burger and then just put like ketchup and mustard on the burger. Definitely not worth $5 then. Okay. For ketchup burger, it's simple. It's more like a I mean, regular McDonald's hamburger mm -hmm. the size of a patty and stuff like that, mm -hmm. which is not much. That's true. But overall, the whole thing and the very crispiness of the fries, you know. Mm -hmm. But it's not that bad of a it's a pretty good burger. I yeah. I put you more of the burger. Oh, hang on. All right. So this does it's pretty basic. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna go and put this down for a sec and uh, have another couple bites and see where we are. Okay. So I finished the burger. The fries are always good. The fries are always good. You can't go wrong with these fries. Today they taste even better. But the burger was good. Like we said, the big the big key was the barbecue sauce, the onions. Once we got in the burger, we hit the pickle. Nobody seems to really want to put more than a couple pickles on a burger unless you're checkers. And um what are some thoughts? Some thoughts were uh that one part we never asked them to actually adjust it. Adjust it? It's not a well, car. You mean we've never asked them to put extra pickles? Yeah, never. They hmm. probably would do it. Probably never. Okay. Right, so I noticed you were still eating your burger. Yeah, one of the few times you've actually beat me eating. I know. I know. 
so so talk us talk us through this murder, John. What 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 are your what are your final thoughts here? Actually, I, want, I wouldn't mind having another one. But if it's for the five dollar meal and how small the burger patty is, I'd rather yeah. either give us another patty or give us another one of the burger completely. Yeah, well, you know, you ain't getting two burgers and a five buck lunch. What, Hardy's has like a five-buck lunch. You got like two, two of the main things. That's Hardy's. You didn't want to go there. You yeah, want to did. go to Brick? Do you want to go to Dear Hardy's ain't going to give you a Sunday though. Remember? They, they gave you like a freaking uh, chocolate chip cookie. That's about it. A chocolate chip cookie. I forgot about that chocolate chip cookie. That's not a bad cookie. Yeah, it was unoriginal. Sundays aren't super original either. Hey, you can pick what flavor you want, man. Uh, so the important thing to note here is that they haven't just replaced the five-buck lunches, they've added to them. So you actually can get this, this, KF, KFC. <laughs> I guess depending on how good it does, it'll stay on the lunch menu. Yeah, so you can get the Kansas City bacon barbecue cheeseburger. You can get this new chicken salad. And then you can still get the regular cheeseburger with lettuce and tomato or the three-piece chicken strip. So that is good that they have all those options. And I like all those options. These fries are really good today. Yeah, they're, they're, they're done right. Oh, all right. So, hmm. it's about, about time to wrap up for a Sunday here soon. All right, so here we are, and now we got our Sundays. John got him a big fat caramel Sunday. Or caramello, or what'd you call it? Kamal. Kamal. And I got a strawberry, but something I wanted to tell you, John, when I was up there, I saw a can on a pump and it said liquid peanut butter. Liquid so, peanut butter. So next time, I might have to say I want liquid peanut butter on my Sunday. Okay. Make sure that's an option. I'm gonna, no, it's not going to be an option. I'm going to tell them. I say, I see it. You have a pump on it. Yeah. You can put it on there, so put it on there. Yeah. Yeah. So to recap, we get the Sundays. We get the drinks, we get the fries, and we got the KFC barbecue bacon and cheese burger. So now we're gonna get off into Sunday. What, what's up? <laughs> you go ahead and eat, man. I'm just wrapping this video up. Oh, wrap it up, man. All right, all right. Wrap enjoyed, it up. I'm wrap enjoying, it up, B. I'm enjoying Morris Day. Yeah, man. This joke of love by the time, man. This is a jam. Oh, we yo, we yo. Oh. Um, if you're a child of the 80s, you're like, you would love it. You'll love uh, DQ because they, they play as the 80s songs. Yeah, I don't know if that's at every DQ, but our DQ here plays 80s all the time, and the jams just rock. But that is it. That was the five bucks. Orange nostalgia, wrap up. Man. Nostalgia. nostalgia is tasty. Almost as tasty as that Kamale. But that'll do it. That'll wrap it up. So go to DQ, check out the five buck lunch with the KC bacon barbecue cheeseburger. And make sure you get the, the liquid peanut butter sundae. Get, get, get the liquid peanut butter sundae. Ask for it because I'm going to ask for it next time. But that's it. So, Day two. And you'll be forthcoming. You know, we're, we're, we will. Next time we come here, I'm trying it. But that'll, that'll do it. So uh, from the world of Rifex, I am Rifex. And as always, that guy right there eating the sundae like a champ is John. We will see. Better be chomping on your strawberry I, goodness. I'm, I'm, about, I'm, about to hit it. I'm about to hit it hard. So be good. We'll see you guys next time. And no matter what you do, make sure you rip.